G'day guys, a little bit of a spender in the work straight off the bat this morning. I was headed out on a pig and a goat hunt, but I've had a huge amount of rain and I've been told by the owner in no unpleasant terms, don't come. So uh, yeah, I've diverted, thankfully I've got options. I'm on another property that I was at a few months ago. Uh, there were plenty of rabbits here then, so pretty keen to give those a little bit of a tune up. I've got the 308 and a heap of 130 grain hollow points. Not exactly kitted out for rabbits, but I think they'll do the trick. Just out for a bit of a cruise at the moment, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Had a little bit of a shot right up the back of the property with the 308 just to confirm zero. behind me my mates the thistles are still here they're probably six to eight feet high so I'm gonna have fun with those tonight I tell you what guys everyone's out GPS and deer rubs and pig wallows and stuff like that this here is what you need to put in your GPS good old poop stump perfect little hole good height no ants best of all no one's used it before go back to camp and get some food and then I might go out and try and do some fox whistling about the third stand I've had a go on with the collar. No luck on the foxes this afternoon. I'm gonna keep trying though. There's plenty of good spots out here to do some calling. You can call me soft if you want. I am in this absolute sea of thistles out in here. My fingers are killing me because they're flicking around the handlebars and um and spiking me. I tell you what I wouldn't mind a good pair of gloves at the moment. I've just got my little fingerless one so I can see a gateway down here where I want to get to just a matter of probably another 200 metres of this junk. It's a really nice afternoon now. The wind's died down. It's been a bit blowy today. I'm just waiting for it to get dark. I've got the thermal gear all on the quad now. I've swapped the scope on the 308. So fingers crossed I can get onto a few rabbits tonight. Foxes maybe. Uh, I did get a cat here last time too, so wouldn't that make it a nice evening? Long to short of it, 308 with 130 grain hollow point makes a hell of a mess of a rabbit. This is at the end of the night. I'm going to splice this in at the front of the evening shooting. If you don't like a heap of carnage, don't watch this video. It's pretty rough. So you'll have to take my word for it. The damage this 308's doing with the 130 grain hollow points is just terrible on these rabbits. Now, I'm not even gonna show a picture of one because I know what YouTube will do to the video if they see it. But you'll get the gist of it through the scope pretty clearly, I think. People might be wondering, why am I shooting rabbits with a 308? It's wasteful, all that sort of stuff. Look, take the waste part out of it. I'm out here doing pest control. But as for using the 308, look, like I said at the start, this trip was never a rabbit shooting trip. I was going out west shooting pigs and goats and it got called off because of the rain. 
but my intention always was to chew up some of these 130 grain hollow points that I've got. I don't particularly like them on heavy animals, so it's a good chance to use them on smaller game. That'll be fox number one down for the night. Check this guy out, he came in pretty close. I don't know if he's a young one or not, but anyway, pegged in pretty hard. He's only a little guy, that's all you're going to see of him. Let me put it this way, to the right of the screen, it's pretty much gone and it's extremely messy. Check this scanner footage out. You guys are probably wondering what the little specks are through the thermal footage, both the scanner and the scope. They're mice, there's hundreds of them. Just about ready to call it a night. These mice, they're doing my head in. They're everywhere. I keep thinking that they're rabbits and they're not. Then you see a rabbit and you go past it because you think it's a mouse. Here's one for you. Have you ever seen what happens when a mouse gets shot with a 308? I'm done for the night now. I've chewed through 70 of those 130 grain hollow points in the 308. And I tell you what, I'm a little bit wary. Righto guys, I'm not going to drag this video on any longer. It was really quiet this morning. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, have a look at my Patreon if you'd like to give me a little bit more support, and I'll see everyone next time.